Jonathan Chung from Appetite for Books. Good to have you back. Happy New Year, everybody. Right, happy New Year, everyone. Yes, yeah, this is right? your first time back uh, so yeah. far. And today we're going to talk blood oranges. Um, obviously, not everybody um, incorporates them in their recipes. No, it's very, it's very seasonal. But you know what I really hate about winter? What is, what is it? Tell me. Scurvy. Okay. And scurvy is one of these things that can be very easily remedied by eating vitamin C. Okay. And what's the best way to get vitamin C? These guys. Oranges. Okay. Uh, oranges, of course, very, very common, but they are in season in the wintertime. Yes. Yes, um, yes, yes. And uh, blood oranges specifically, something a little bit different. They're very special in that they have a... a because uh, the, the taste is a little bit different than regular oranges, The taste right? is a little bit different, usually a little bit sweeter, but okay. actually, uh, unlike most other citrus, blood oranges are very high in antioxidants. Great. So uh, it's very, good very healthy and for you. it's good for you. So yes, exactly. we're, we're going to have two recipes here. So we're going to make a salad. We're going to um, do two recipes. We're going to make a really simple salad using blood oranges and just regular navel oranges. All right. And so, then, then we'll get to the cake. You then guys. we got dessert, sure. but we got to hold off <laughs> let's, on let's, that. Well, let's, let's start with the first. beginning here. The first thing that we did is just uh, um, cut off the peel of the orange. Is, and the, then, is the peel, does it have any value? Uh, could, could you, uh, it's, it's, it's really great to add into your dressing if you zest it. Okay, they right. add a lot of flavor, but... To eat it, it ends up to be a little bit too bitter. So okay. um, we, for this salad, we're just going to cut it off. And then we're going to make a very simple dressing. So what we're going to do is get my nifty little Breville uh, food processor here. Okay. We're going to add in a little bit of olive oil. All and right. you could grab uh, um, some of that vinegar, pop some of the vinegar in. All right, how much here? Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. The general rule of thumb of uh, vinaigrette is one part acid, three parts oil. Okay. All right. All a little right. bit of the shallot here, we'll dump that in. Dump that. All right. What about these guys? Uh, no, that at the end. That is pretty you good. You see, I'm definitely not the, the, the kitchen guy. Season a little salt. We'll take the uh, blender top there. All right. Pop it on. Pop it on. And just blend it up. That's nice fairly simple, simple, right? simple so Done. Funny, and it's done. That's it's it. done. That's good. Boom. All right, great. So we'll take uh, the watercress there that we have. Okay. Uh, so you can really use any greens you want. Watercress, we've got We've got some diced up avocado. Avocado. We'll dump that, dump all that in. in there. We'll take some of those radishes. Radishes. Dump those in. All of in. them? Yeah, yeah, do it. Dump do it. all of we'll it in there. We'll take some of our, uh, a little bit of our goat cheese, or oh, feta, feta cheese, I'm cheese. Sorry. Feta cheese. Terrific. A little bit of our vinaigrette, and we're going to give that a quick little toss. Uh, you don't want to use your hands, so we'll use a little bit of. Uh, That's it. Well, I, I, I sh maybe I shouldn't use my hand at home. Maybe you gotta make love to the food. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I like that idea. I so we're like gonna that take our lot. our salad. We'll just put a little bit of that right on top, like that. Very oh, nice. And then to Smells finish it so off, good too. we're gonna take uh, a little bit of crunch with some pistachios. Beautiful. Put that on just like that. And if you want. You can take just a little bit of that vinaigrette a and drizzle bit, we'll it around the orange, top. just like that, to give guys, it a little bit of... Guys, look at this, how beautiful it is. Nice and flavorful, very healthy for uh, wintertime. Of course, and of course. And seasonal. Seasonal, which is amazing. Very Let's important. move on to the cake, because, Let's do our cake. you know, we, we, we love to chat here, but we got to get to the dessert. We got to get to dessert. The dessert's very important. I see CVD already, uh, you know... Hovering. She's hovering. Hovering for All the right, dessert. right here, I had to do this a little bit earlier because three minutes isn't long enough to make a cake. Of course. We have a blood orange rosemary cake. Wow. So it's very warming for the uh, for the winter time, and oranges go really, citrus goes really well with rosemary. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to juice one blood orange here. Okay. We've got a couple cups of icing sugar. I'm going to dump sugar. that in, mm. and then if you want, try to whisk that together. Okay. And we're going to do just a very simple Guys, icing. Guys, they're putting to me to work here today. That's right. Well, you got to earn your paycheck. I got to I gotta, I gotta work a little bit, right? Yeah. So, well, here, let me just finish I'll, that I'll, up. And, I'll, and let you, <laughs> I'll let you get get done with that, yeah. All right, so. There it is. Oh, you see. Yeah, so you, I, I, was, I, was, I was getting to that, right? Just a few moments more. And as you uh, whisk this together, oh. you're going to get this nice little pink icing. And then. And we're just going to drizzle that on top. Now, this is a little bit dry, so. Uh, as you, you add see, a little more. We'll add just a little bit more of that. And guys, uh, don't worry, All those, uh, both those recipes are going to be on our website, btmontreal.ca, and right. obviously this becomes the icing on the cake. This goes on the icing on the cake. If you want, oh. you can segment some of those uh, oranges, just mm. put them around. And you know what, you guys, we're going to show you the final product right after the break. And quickly, uh, Jonathan, what are some, uh, what's happening at Appetite for Books in the next few months? Only the good stuff. Of course, only, only the, the good, good stuff. stuff. Well, go lots ahead, guys, of classes, check it out. Lots, lots of classes, check out the website, appetitebooks.ca. Check it out. Like Joanne says, if you haven't gone or checked it out yet, you are crazy bonkers. Jonathan Chung, thank you so it's much. A pleasure. We're going to show you the final product of that right after the break. You guys stay with us here on Breakfast Television. Oh.
Jonathan Chung in studio. Uh, Chef Look Jonathan at Chung, that. owner of Appetite uh, for Books uh, in Westmount. Every time he comes to studio, we drool. Uh, the crowds are swarming. You made a blood orange rosemary cake for us. That's right, and we're just going to finish it off with a little bit of blood orange icing. Oh, look at that. This and is not food coloring, you guys. This is from the blood orange. You know, this, is, yes, this yes, could yes. be good for Valentine's Day. Look at that. Oh. We'll just have to have you back on Valentine's Day. And you know what? Blood oranges are still in season for Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, it is very romantic, as that. I like to say. So yeah. that was what? The icing was what again? A little bit of blood orange and a little bit of icing sugar. And, and that's it. Uh, if you want, you can... For a garnish, nice presentation. Yeah, you can garnish with some blood oranges segments, a uh, little bit of rosemary. Whoa, whoa, don't get ahead of yourself. Wait, you don't wait, know what wait, you're wait, doing. Look here, look. <laughs> There it is. There it is, you guys. Jonathan Chung, thank you so much. Again, Appetite for Books. Check it out. It's in Westmont. What's the website again? Appetite for Books. Appetitebooks.ca. Appetitebooks.ca. Appetitebooks We're going to go.